For our first animation in After Effects, I'm going to be creating two compositions. The source material that we're going to be using is going to come from Photoshop, so I'm going to go through the steps of creating the Photoshop file here. I assume you all know Photoshop, but this is just to cover all the bases, if you will. The first thing I want to do is create a file which is the clock face. So I'm going to go create a new composition. In this composition I want to be completely square. I'm going to make it 800 by 800 pixels, which should have enough resolution for the video. It's a nice even number, which means I'll be able to find the center very easily. And I'm going to create this on a transparent background. I guess I'll go ahead and call this clock, clock face. All right, the first thing I want to do is create guides showing me where the center of the composition is. This is going to be important for how I want to use it in After Effects. I'm going to go create new guide, create a horizontal guide that's at 400 pixels, and another one, new guide, vertically, 400 pixels. Now I can easily identify the center of my document. With the elliptical selection tool, I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and drag out a perfectly round selection. I can decide to go all the way to the edges or not. I think I'll just leave it there and fill with white. And this is going to be my white face of the clock. So long as I'm in here, I might want to put uh, some sort of a rim around it. So this is the part that you do to taste. Okay, I'm going to apply a rim to this. I just selected a uh, brown color that I'm going to use. I'm going to go to Edit and Stroke and tell it I want a nice centered stroke on here that's 40 pixels in width. And there I have a rim on my clock face. So this is the part where you design it to look any way you want. I'll go over the critical points, mostly about how things are centered. The next thing I want to put on here is some hour markers. So I'm just going to create a little tick mark here. Go ahead and center it. Fill it with something. I think I'm going to undo that and put that on its own layer. Okay, so now I have a tick mark on this layer. I'm going to make a copy of that. So I'm going to deselect, alt, drag, and so I have two, two layers here. I'm going to make sure that they're aligned with each other. All right, I'm going to merge these two together and duplicate it. This duplicated layer I'm going to transform and I'm going to use freeform transformation but just type in the 30 degree rotation I want to create a tick mark at the proper hour. I'm going to copy that again do another freeform transformation again 30 degrees all right, so now I have tick marks everywhere I need them. I don't need these to be all separate layers, so I'm going to select them all, merge them together. I might want these on a separate layer for reasons. I might want to animate the tick marks. I might want to apply layer styles. So I'm going to call these ticks. I'm going to name this. Face. 
The other thing I obviously need is hands. So I'm going to go in here and create a new layer. So I'm going to go here, hold down Shift and Alt and drag out a circle that I want to fill with black. So I am just going to create a very simple minute hand. Fill with black. Name this layer Minute. Then I'm going to create a new layer. This layer will be the hour hand. I'm going to make it fatter and underneath the minute hand. I'm going to start with the same constrained selection. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it shows behind. And I'm going to fill that with black. Then I'm going to make a fatter um, I'm actually drawing this as an ellipse. That's a uh, Interesting choice. Um, I'm going to switch from that. And so this is going to be a really stubby uh, hour hand. Fill it with black. Okay, so I have an hour hand. And the center and it's centered on the screen here. What well, the part I want in the center of the screen is properly placed. And then I have my minute hand. I'm going to put the minute hand on top because it's more gracile. And here I have the fatter hour hand beneath that. So pretty much what I have here is exactly what I need for this composition. I have the layers that I want to be separate so that they can be animated in After Effects face layer, tick marks, hour hand, minute hand. Now one reason I might want these separate is to put on like a layer style. If I wanted to bevel the hour hand for instance. I could apply an effect like that. If I want that same effect on the minute hand, here I'll just make a copy of that. And let's see how that looks on the tick marks. Okay, I could fine tune, but that's not um, what I'm trying to do here. Okay, everything gets everything gets a bevel. All right, so this is my clock face. The file is called that. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Clockface.psd save. All right, now, now I'm going to make the second composition that I need.